Porgies is a bistro. We were probably one of the first bistro around. You know, we're trying to be French and American and a little bit of everything. The best thing of all is that you never do twice the same things. It's always different. So if you go to work, you know, and you love what you're doing, there's nothing better than that. We try to, uh, to make it comfortable, warm, so people are happy. Uh, to me, it's a very special place. I've been here 28 years. I mean, you know, I'm still smiling. I'm still, still enjoying what I do. Uh, I still enjoy the people that come here. You know, the customer, and what else could you ask for? So Brent, you say that Froggy's really has French food figured out. Tell us why you chose yeah, They it. sure do. Uh, you know, my wife and I used to live basically in between where, where the two restaurants, the other two restaurants were, and we moved to the suburbs. And when we moved out there, we were looking for a couple restaurants that really uh, we could sit down and have a really nice romantic dinner together, but also we could go there with a group of people and have a good time as well. Uh, Highwood happens to be really close to where we live in the suburbs, and uh, it's, it's a really neat little town, uh, basically known for, for restaurants, and they've got at least 10 to 15 really, really nice restaurants in that area. So, Brett, do you ever see Bill Cartwright, the owner there, the NBA player? I mean, I've, he's kind of hard to miss. He's like seven feet one. <laughs> he, is, he is tall. I'm six eight myself, so I, can, I keep waiting to bump into him in person. He's at Starbucks right by us all the time. Uh, but he is, uh, yeah, he's, he's a 50 percent owner, and uh, obviously is a, is a big fan of the restaurant. Uh, the reason we love it, uh, it's, it's not pretentious at all for a French restaurant. The food is legitimately French, uh, extremely fair pricing, um, and, and what I usually say is that if, if you go there, you certainly, they have something called a gourmet menu, where you get any hot appetizer, any cold appetizer, a sorbet with a shot of vodka, and, uh, which makes the sorbet better, and then uh, also uh, you get any entree and any dessert, and these are full portions off the regular menu. You're not limited to a certain number of things or a smaller portion. It's, it's, it's right off the menu. I think that's very, very reasonable, um, and you can always, you can mix and match anything you want. For example, I like soup. But also, my favorite appetizer is a mushroom ravioli that they have, and they'll let me do both and, and not get the cold appetizer. And then wine-wise, um, they've got a huge wine selection, and, and a lot of reasonably priced wines. I think they've got over 100 that are under $30, or between $30 and $35. We actually went on a Monday night. So it was just Monday at 7.30, and I think that was the wrong time to go. Awesome. Because when we walked in, I think we were the only people under 65 in the entire <laughs> restaurant. The food, though, and the menu, and the wine, everything was really amazing. So I think if we, maybe we went at a different time, it would have been better. It just felt like we were the only people without an AARP card. I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, I knew this was gonna come up because my wife and I actually happened to go on a Monday really? too, just, just to review it. Yeah. And uh, my wife looked at me and she said, you know, on the show, that, that could be a discussion because it, yeah. it depends on who else is on the show. You gotta remember though, you're in the suburbs, not in the city, well, and you're there on a, on a weeknight. So yeah. who, who is gonna go? It's gonna be typically that's, be an older crowd. That's kind of what we talked about. It just, it was interesting to me because we came in and I guess I was expecting something because I read about it and it sounds so amazing and I was expecting something a little more lively, and then we walked in and we're like, what is going on? When's the bingo start? Yeah, and there was also, <laughs> there were faux fun. flowers. It is fun. It is fun. <laughs> there was like fake ivy up and the fake flowers, and I was like, oh my God, I'm totally at my like, grandma's house. George, you're obviously not 65, and you went. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, this is the first place that I reviewed, and I went on a Tuesday night. I loved it. It, it was great. I thought that the way it was, it was decorated was really very French bistro, but surprisingly, the food was such high quality. That's not bistro food. That's fine French cuisine. Sure. And uh, I thought the prices were really reasonable. Uh, the food was excellent all throughout my meal. There's a lot of quality and a lot of care that's put into each of the, uh, you know, the appetizers and the entrees and even the sorbet. You know, it's just everything is very, very well executed. Mm -hmm. I had a cold appetizer, which uh, was a cucumber and um, crab wrap type of thing. We have that too. Yeah, I, and I don't like cucumber. That's, that's why I got it. I was hoping that it would, it would make <laughs> me change my, my uh, image of cucumber, and it did. My hot appetizer was a cream of mushroom soup, mm -hmm. which I thought was it's excellent. It's delicious. I get it's, that almost every time. Yeah. That's what I get. I get that with the mushroom uh, ravioli. That yeah. alone is worth going back to that restaurant for. Mm -hmm. It was a really sure. nice amount of, of soup. Not too much, not too little. You got a real uh, a strong taste, uh, but it was, it was really pleasant all the way through. Uh, I had the fish entree, and I'd say my fish was a little cold coming out. Besides that, the fish was very flavorful. And good sauces? Good sauces. Excellent sauces. They have sauces. good sauces on everything. Now. Excellent sauces. Everything. Too much sauce, because I love fish. I had the fish trio, and the fish was impeccable, so flavorful, cooked really well. 
but there was just way too much sauce and I was kind of sad because I was so excited about the fish. Mm -hmm. But it was good sauce, it was just a lot of it. I'm a condiment and sauce person, so to me I the think, sauce uh, Yeah, I like the like bistro me. light grill kind of thing and this was a little more heavy French sauce. Did you have I, a bread pudding for dessert, anyone? No, and I wish we would have. We had the chocolate plate the though, best thing which on the was menu, great. The I had the pudding. chef's selection, which was like all the different little pieces mm -hmm. of all the different uh, desserts it and it was excellent. I ate the entire thing. <laughs> Not thinking I would after eating all that fish yeah. and the two appetizers, but it was the desserts were excellent. Yeah. The, the trios, like the trio of meat or the trio of fish, they don't tell you. Like the waiters honestly don't know. There's also a second way to order. There's a gourmet menu where you're mm -hmm. picking everything you want. Mm -hmm. There's also the chef's menu where they will they will Which give is you. What I had. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but, the, but the, yeah, your whole course is all planned out for you. Yeah, you do not know. So why not? Like, why doesn't the chef tell you what you're gonna get? Why the? It's part, why of, the, this, why it's part of the excitement. Maybe he's hot tonight. <laughs> you know, you, you, he's got some great things that he's not willing to put on the menu. But if you order them, you're gonna be pleasantly yeah, surprised. Yeah, I also think it's whatever's freshest. He probably goes to the market and sees whatever's mm -hmm. the freshest, and that's what he wants to. I think it's just kind of a night. fun way to have the menu be a little bit different. I mean, you can do the gourmet menu, pick everything yourself, or you could say, you know, I'll trust the chef and let him do it. All right, Brent, you pick froggies. Give us a summary. Uh, Froggies is delicious food, especially if you enjoy French cuisine with lots of sauces. Uh, <laughs> delicious, uh, delicious food, extremely reasonably priced, very conscientious and attentive uh, service at all times I've ever been. George? I think this is fine French dining at bistro prices. It was fantastic. The ambiance is great. You can't really find a bad thing to say about Froggies. And Very warm and inviting, um, great wine list, a little too much sauce but it was really good. <laughs> All right, well, you can try the saucy selections for yourself at Froggy's French Cafe, 306 Green Bay Road in Highwood, 847-433-7080. They're open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday and for dinner only on Saturday. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab per person without drinks is $50.